What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RB series and this episode will set up the aim offset for our bow. So if we move our camera up, the player will basically aim up with the bow and the same, you know, aiming down. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is create the aim poses. So, what we're going to do is go into content, characters, RP character, animations and let's go into our bow and we can see that we have the bow aiming this is the one that we want to basically create all the poses that we need so we create the aim offset and move it uh its arms up or down okay as simple as that so let's right click create new folder this will be ao aiming so we know it's aim offset and what to do is go ahead and just duplicate this and this it will be AO underscore bow underscore aiming. Okay. Now, this one uh, it needs to be, you know, indicating if it's forward, up, or down. In this case, it will just be forward. So let's go ahead and use put forwards. Actually, use forward better. Just go ahead and just move this into the AO. And now, this will need to be a pose. That means that it has to be only one frame. So let's get the I guess we could say the key bar, I don't know how we used to say it. You just at the beginning, you just right click on it, and you can see that we have this option to remove frame 1 to 226. Let's click on that, and now just once again, and now we don't have any motion. It is completely broken, so that's why make sure you know to uh, duplicate this. Okay, so now we just need to change this to be additive into mesh space, and then in here is going to be a scale to animation scaled. And this will be our aiming of our bow, which is normal. This is because, now you can see that it will slightly move, uh, because it will be an additive animation on top of our previous animation. That's why we are putting our additive settings there. Okay, so now we just need to du duplicate this. This will be uh, basically aiming up. So let's enter in our aiming up. And it will be exactly the same, okay? But, of course, um, we have to make it so he's looking up. So let's go into the skeleton tree, and what I am going to do is select one of the pelvis. In this case, it's going to be the pelvis, uh, so the spine, uh, I guess spine 3 will work. And I'm going to change this to be from local to global space, okay? This is very important. So now we just need to get this axis, and just go ahead and rotate him an amount that we want to look up. In this case, let's go with 65, I think it will be good. So now that we have it at 65, it's very important to get a keyframe and press this add key button. This will basically add a keyframe and now you can see that the animation is over there looking up. Great, that was 65 degrees up. There we go, cool. Now we can close this and you can see that now the you know thumbnail is looking up, which is what we want. Now let's select once again the forward animation, duplicate this and now this will be aiming down. And let's do exactly the same thing, but of course looking down. So let's select the spine 3, make sure this is in wild space. This is very important because you can see it kind of changes uh, from being, you know, local space from the bone into the world. And I want it to be in the world because I want him to rotate uh, looking over on his own forward axis, not the bone. Uh, so now we can just rotate it. Let's do, I guess that minus 65 will work also, uh, but of course forwards. And now we just want to add a key over there press save and you can see now he's aiming down cool so now what we have to do is create an aim offset blend space so just right click go into animation we can see aim offset let's select this the sk mannequin ao underscore and this will just be aiming but of course let's put an another underscore with bow so bow aiming let's open this up and now we can go into asset details open up the horizontal axis and this will be the pitch, okay? The minimum will be minus 90, and the maximum will be 90. Great, let's go ahead and just put snap to grid, so it's easier when, uh, when we place our animations. And now in the asset browser, which if you don't see it, you can just go into window, asset browser, 
we can search for our poses. In this case, it will be AO, etc. So first of all, all to the left will be our aiming down. Let's put that to the left, as you can see. Okay. Also in the vertical, let's just put this to snap so it's in the center. Don't worry, we will not use the vertical axis, only the horizontal. Now the aiming forward will be exactly at the middle, at the center, and the aiming up, all the right. Now as you can see, if I hold control, you can see as uh, this pitch increases, it will be you know looking down, up, or uh, sorry, the center or up. So it's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and save everything. Control Shift S, and now we have to add it into our animation blueprint. So let's go into RPG character animations, RPG character. Let's open this up. And as you can see, we have a few options here. What we have to do is go into the a name graph over here. And now we have the option to add our AO aiming into here, as you can see. So now we need to just plug in our base pose and this over here. And we can remove this other pin, which is the vertical axis, because we don't need that. So let's just go down using none. We can use uh, remove the pin by just, I guess, that right click. Uh, sorry, not right click, not just here, none. There we go, expose a spin not, disable that. So we only have the pitch, and this is, will be a new variable. So right click, a new variable, and depending on this, it will be something. And now, for we're gonna leave it at one for now. So now, if this, for example, was 90, as you can see, it will be looking up, etc. So let's leave it at zero. And now we just need to basically get directly the rotation of our character when we play the game, so where our camera is looking. So for that, let's go into the event graph. Let's add a new pin in our sequence. And what I want to do is get our character. So we have it over here, get it. And now we just want the get base rotation of our here, get base aim rotation. So we get in the uh, rotation of our pawn here. And what I'm going to do is right click and split this because we only need the pitch, of course. And then what I want to do is get this and just make a branch. So we need to do something to make sure it's in range of our three, uh, of our uh, 90 and minus 90 uh, angle range, right? So first of all, if um, we are going to get the pitch, okay, which is this one, and you set it. So you set pitch, and it'll be directly this one. If this is bigger or equal than 180, so that's bigger or 180 we want to directly use set it uh, actually we want to first of all sorry about that get 180 out sorry 360 because it's over you know 180 degrees so we have one to uh, keep it in range so we subtract 360 and now that's our pitch but if not we can indeed just pass it directly on how it is okay so with that said we can now compile and save and if I were to press play, you can see that I can look up or down. And it looks pretty cool even in the gameplay, but don't worry about that because really it will only use it for the bow. But now if I were to go ahead and aim, you can see that now indeed I can aim up or down. And this looks very, very, very cool. So we can go ahead and shoot a bit up and there we go. Cool. So now we just need to do one final thing, which is going to be another kind of tiny sequence here. So let me just right click add a sequence. Okay, control put this here, it will do this. And then it will also make another branch. Okay, which sorry, you just get the go ahead and just get the alpha promote this to a variable. And this will be the bow AO alpha. And we want to set the alpha to be one or zero depending if we have a bow or not because if we don't have a bow we don't want it so by default let's make the zero and then in the event graph we are going to set this depending on something so let's make a branch okay and if this true it will be one if this false this will be directly zero and now we can just get a has bow okay so he has the both this and if not it will be disabled so now you can see it will be enabled because i indeed have my bow but if i were to go and disable has bow which i believe it is set in the 
player attack system. There we go, house has bow. If I now delete uh, delete this, no, is disable this, you can see it doesn't happen. But you know, if I go and enable has bow, okay, you will see that now indeed it does happen. So exactly what we want. So now later on, when we do that, you know, it will only happen when you equip your bow. Uh, it will be fully set up and automatic. So that's what we want. So that's it, guys, for this episode. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. For lots of Undo Engine Pad tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. Join my Pixel server, follow me on my socials, you know that profiles will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. And now, yes, well, I said bye bye.